Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Monday Night Football on EA Sports. Up next, we'll see a man who's been in charge for more than a decade, Matthew Stafford and the Detroit Lions, as they match up with the great Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. With that, let's get up to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Standing by for the call from venerable Lambeau Field, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, historic Lambeau Field. Fittingly, it butts up against Lombardi Avenue here in the heart of Green Bay, Wisconsin. No team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay. And this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with the Detroit Lions. From up top, Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you. And Charles, an NFC North matchup here, the so-called black and blue division. Get out of baby, show that A. <laughs> it's going to be a battle in 2019 as well. Who do you like out of this division? Well, Chicago is a defending champion, and they play defense as well as anyone in the league, so you have to like their chances to repeat. Minnesota thought they were going to run the division, had a rough year. That's not normal Vikings football. They'll get back into the fray. Green Bay had such an underwhelming season last year. Year. They changed coaches, but they still have number 12 throwing the football. And Detroit, they're on a crusade to eliminate bad football and get back to being the Lions that roar. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down at about the 15. Time to see Aaron Rodgers and this Green Bay Packers offense operate. In week five, they got the victory over Dallas. Big road win, 34 to 24 to get to four and one. Although Aaron Rodgers didn't throw for a touchdown in that game. In fact, through five games, Rodgers with just six touchdown passes. Green Bay has done it more on the ground. Eight rushing touchdowns this season for Green Bay to those six passing touchdowns. But whatever the formula, they're winning at four and one. They'll go with their leading rusher from a season ago. This is Aaron Jones. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Okay, there's a tone setter. First play from scrimmage. Stuff him in the backfield. You know what they were doing last night in the hotel room? <laughs> Visualizing exactly that. That's what they were thinking about. Making that play. Having leverage. Lower than the offensive lineman. Getting into the offensive back there. Knocking someone down. Just what you said. Setting the tone early for this game. Jeez, you are fired up. When I see a play like that, I can't help it. No gain that time on the completion. And it'll be third down. Quickly now, here's a look at the Green Bay offense. It's tough to be an offensive lineman in Green Bay because their quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, knows how to keep plays alive and often extends them for three, four, five, six seconds. But David Bakhtiari, his left tackle, he does it as well as anyone could ever expect. Excellent footwork, knows that the players are going to stay alive for a long time, often will get two or three blocks on the same play. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. So here are the Lions now as they get set for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a former Pro Bowl quarterback out of the University of Georgia, Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford is a big arm guy who's learned how to temper some of his throws. Actually has added a lot more touch and accuracy as his career has gone along. Big time confidence in his arm, though. Any throw you want, he can make it. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now it's Stafford. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. 
That really sets him back. A loss of six. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack. But that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Now Stafford. And eventually he's taken down here. Great coverage downfield, resulting in the sack. Slipping into the backfield for the sack was Oren Burks. Well, it was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. After the sack, Stafford and the Lions come up on a third and long situation. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Third and long, it's Stanford. This complete to Jones. And he'll be out right at the 35. A heck of a play there on third down, but amazingly, they're still short for fourth. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain still a ways to go, though. I'm the sure as a coach, when you throw the flag, you hold your breath, then you get the verification you were right, a sigh of relief. Not only a sigh of relief, a little vindication as well, because every time you pull that red flag and throw it, you could be costing your team a timeout. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Trevor Davis, deep for Green Bay. And the punt goes out of bounds. Where will they put it? They'll put it just inside the 45-yard line. Packers offense making their way back out. Earlier we discussed the week five victory in Dallas, 34 to 24. You know, it's really been something how they've dominated Dallas. They've won eight of their last nine against the Cowboys. In fact, Green Bay 5-0 and all time at AT&T Stadium. That includes a playoff win a few years back against Dallas and then the Super Bowl 45 victory against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, the back of the schedule for Green Bay is loaded with games on the road, so they'll try to take advantage of the next two at home against Detroit and then against Oakland. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Geronimo Allison, the target there, and it's second down. And the starting crew defensively for Detroit. As the Detroit Lions continue to rebuild their defense, they were so excited about the opportunity to acquire defensive end Trey Flowers from New England, who always put on big performances in the playoffs and in Super Bowls. And now the Lions looking forward to seeing that game in and game out. Seven and a half sacks is his career high. They'd love to see that number get to double digits. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now.
Third and 11. And some extra depth to the secondary here. They're in the dime. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. Play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers looking deep for it. And that is intercepted by the Pro Bowl corner, Darius Slay. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. And Detroit getting set to go now. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves hey. that, that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. They go play action here on first down. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. And we look now at the Lions offense. Running back Kerryon Johnson was drafted out of Auburn in the second round in 2018 to become the Detroit Lions lead running back, something they haven't had in a long time. In fact, in 2018, he ran for over 100 yards in a game in September, the first Lions back over 100 yards since Reggie Bush on Thanksgiving Day in 2013. They're hoping that continues, and he'll be the three-down runner that they've been seeking. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. The Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. From the gun, here's Stafford. Amendola's got it, complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. First down, Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. Nice catch right there, brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, know, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this, when he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. Now the Notre Dame man, this is Theo Riddick. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Here we go. Here we go. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Out of the gun, Stafford. Open man is Galladay, complete. 30, the 20, touchdown, Detroit, Kenny Galladay. 
64 yards as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Now Matt Prater for the point after. It's up, it's good, and the Lions lead 7-0. A drive that time of six plays, and the end result, a Detroit touchdown. So after the touchdown, Martin now on to kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Number 12 back out there. Aaron and his Packer teammates set to begin their drive. And he'll look to rebound from the early interception that led to six points the other way. And when he threw the interception and he had to come to the sideline, I guarantee his first thought wasn't about the interception itself, but what could result. And I know he was thinking to himself, come on, defense, bail me out. Well, they weren't able to in this situation. Now he's got to go out and atone for it himself, but he can't force things. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 right at the 30. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Complete to Jones. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. On the counter, here's Jones. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Week five for Aaron Jones, by the way, was a game for the ages at Dallas. 19 carries, 107 yards, four touchdowns. First packer to run for four scores since Dorsey Levins 20 years ago and the first player ever to run for four touchdowns against the Dallas Cowboys. Rodgers now to throw. It's caught here by Adams. Rodgers finding Adams for a packer first. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Rodgers now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and 10. Rodgers on target here to Allison, and he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. 
Well, this is how you shake the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident, keep flinging it. I just figured there's something wrong with the football. They go back to the ground with Jones. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rush is just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. On second and nine, Rodgers got an open man. It's Valdez Scandling. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. The first red zone opportunity now for the Packers. They've got a first and goal from the 10-yard line. Now Rodgers on the bootleg. He's got Lewis, and here he'll get it down to the seven. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Throwing is Rodgers. Pass incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Rodgers again now. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while. But when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Huh, you like Come that on. one? What does that mean, break out? The, just because you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points... It's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their 25-yard line. 
A shotgun snap for Stafford. And it's caught here, Amendola. That throw good for four. It's second down. And a peek at the defense for the Packers. Safety Adrian Amos was a free agent in 2018, and division rival Green Bay took note and brought him to Wisconsin to patrol the center of their defense and also drop down near the line of scrimmage and make some big-time plays in the running game. Second and six, just inside the 30. Stafford now to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Back to throw, Stafford. It's caught, Jones. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. catch there brings up second down many teams as soon as they spot man defense if they haven't called a hitch they'll get to it as fast as they can they want to put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle on the outside and go for big yardage second and five after the five yard completion on first down here's Stafford and his throw is going to be incomplete Kenny Galladay the intended receiver and it'll bring up third down had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Again, it's Stafford. And he'll find Galladay, that's complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 40. Stafford now, 8 of 11 in this first half. He's got it first and 10. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. I would think as a play call, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was, because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stuffed that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. Throwing on second down. Stafford. James has got it. Complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 19. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Let's 
Stafford with a give. This is Riddick. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Blake Martinez, the NFC's leading tackler a year ago, in on the stop. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every day? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. From the 16, Stafford, that's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. A loss of two there. Second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Three down, three down. Now Stafford. And he's got Amendola on the connection. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Joshua Jackson there to knock that one away. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So on fourth down, the Lions turn it over to Matt Prater for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. to so they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's not like you're going negative on that, partner. I was. Sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. It's Martin to do the honors after the made field goal. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. He's just been looking for some space. Yeah, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, him. don't take him totally out of the game. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. As a passer, we're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of the defense. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Yeah. 
A first carry now for the BYU man. It's Jamal Williams. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From midfield, here's Rodgers. His throw incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Rodgers now to throw again to Valdez Scantling over the middle. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Here's J.K. Scott now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Back out is Matthew Stafford in the Lions offense. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and ten at their own 20-yard line. From the gun, here's Stafford. This complete to Jones. That throw good for four. It's second down. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Now it's Stafford. He'll get this one to Galladay. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So from the 36 now, first and 10. We got three, we got three, fellas, we got three. Here's Johnson. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. The last run got six, now second and four. To throw is Stafford. Jones has it. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. He completes it to Jones. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Stafford to Jones, enough for a Lion first down. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. 
Third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Now to Galladay on the jet sweep. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Second and nine, Stafford. Open man is Galladay, complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 27 yards there, a first down. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Stafford going to come up first and 10, and he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Now Stafford. Throw left side complete. It's James. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Stafford. He finds Riddick complete. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. Stafford. And James has it. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Throwing again at Stafford. This will be caught at about the five. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Here's Stafford. Galladay's got it, and the Lions have a touchdown. Kenny Galladay with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half.
Now Prater to add the PAT. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. So that drive 12 plays in length, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. Here's Martin now following the score as he'll send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Devontae Adams in the Packer offense heading back out. You would have to think they're going to make it more of a priority to get him the football. You're losing here in the second quarter, and he's been really quiet. I think all we have to do, and it's too bad we can't actually see the actual play sheet now from the coordinator, because he's looking down at that and saying, okay, do I put him in different spots? Do I try and isolate him? What routes do I run? You're exactly right. They've got to get the ball in his hands and get their offense kick-started. He does have the two catches, but pretty quiet so far. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Second and six, just inside the 30. To throw is Rodgers. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. and 10. Here's Rodgers. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Rodgers. Throwing again. The connection made. It's Graham. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. They're looking at third and a few inches. Now Rodgers. It's caught, Jones, and he's got this down to the 35, and it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 35. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Lions taking the lead to the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. 
is a two touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half. So let's get you back out as well to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Kenny Galladay making his way back onto the field with the rest of this offense. He's having a day here in quarter number three. Over 100 yards, couple touchdowns. Every receiver's hope for when they head into that game in the National Football League. And his team is loving what he's giving them. Of course, the yardage is terrific, but I think it's what you mentioned, the two touchdowns. That's the big one because he's paying off his results downfield and still more time here third quarter we'll see what else he has in store for us Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their 25 yard line Stafford to Riddick on the draw and they're able to get this one across the 35 11 yards there and a line first down what makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. Ready. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here we go, D. All day, D. Johnson and the hole closes quickly there he gets maybe a couple up to the 38 in the first half he was held in check on the ground but despite that lack of production they still have the lead yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that if they could actually get production from their lead horse that would help open up this offense and widen this margin too from the 38 Stafford got his man complete over the middle. That's James. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. You get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no yardage. Okay. Stafford now to throw. And it's caught here. Amendola. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. Here's Sam Martin now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. They'll try and get the running game going with Jones. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Tackle made by the third-round pick out of Louisiana, Tracy Walker. 
Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Looking to throw on second down. Rodgers, he's going to air one out. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Well, this secondary has done such a good job of frustrating these receivers tonight. Another example right there on the deep ball. Sometimes when the sun goes down and it's just the bright lights in the stadium, puts a little extra spring in their step, doesn't it? And that's what we're seeing from the defenders. Doesn't matter with his man or zone. Deep ball, short ball. That was a deep one there. They're making plays on the football, contesting everything. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. Rodgers to his tight end, Graham, on a big one, 47 yards. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well to get a few stops. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Jones. They follow up that gigantic gain with the tiniest of pickups, one yard. Well, they still have time to get them established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Open here is Allison. That's complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing now is Rodgers. And the throw there going to be incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. Made his first. This now from 46 yards away. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And a second field goal here gets him back within 11 now. It's 17-6. to six. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing, all right? They didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need him to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So the Lions offense ready to go back out onto the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Faking the give to Johnson. Now it's Stafford. Stafford. 
Throw left side, taken in by Galladay. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He got 29 yards that time. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Out of the gun, Stafford. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it. What people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half, scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Detroit. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. And out of bounds, sailed over, looked like right near the pylon. This one's going to be perfect. Directional kicking at its finest right down at the one-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. try to get this running game going with Williams. And they'll get him down right around the 11-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. It's caught here by Adams. 16 yards, a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. This is Jones. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. They'll go again to Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage will be found. Run 
This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing is Rodgers. Caught by Jones. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for Green Bay. And he puts a little something extra into this one. By far his best of the night. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Getting set to go again, Matthew Stafford trots back onto the field. He has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter, good second quarter, and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps is consistency. Taking care of the ball, making sure it gets to the right people, no errors, right? Not turning it over and just doing all the right things. As leadership, and it inspires confidence in a team. Yeah, been a good leadership and a good distributor. Now a first down throw, Stafford. James has got it, complete. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. <laughs> to throw is Stafford. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter. It's a good running back dive play. Throwing on third down. Stafford. Packer pressure and down he goes. The safety Adrian Amos comes crashing in for the sack. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Here's Sam Martin now, standing right on his own five-yard line. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Let's see what you got. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. Got a man. That's Allison. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Let's go. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Rodgers now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. 
It's first and ten. Rodgers now to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Now a first down carry by Jones. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked by Tracy Walker. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. The good old cover three defense, partner. When you start playing football as a safety, that's the first thing you're taught. Middle of the field, be as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, and break on the football when it's thrown, and pick it off, just as we saw there. And here comes a big tight end as he gets set for this next drive. And a bounce back here for him after a slow start. And sometimes that's how it goes with tight ends. Those catches in their games, they can go in waves at that position. And you get so locked into stopping them that you think, okay, hey, look at that. We've got it. We've held him down. <laughs> and the best ones, you really don't hold down for an entire game. They're going to get their catches. Your job is to keep them from being big-time catches that break you down totally. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Second and a yard. Stafford, open man is Galladay, complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First down. Set, 80. Check, 42 to mark. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Get Stafford gives to Johnson on the draw. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Riddick with a carry. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Tremont Williams, a veteran corner there on the stop. He shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection.
So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Blitz coming and down he goes. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. On the ground, it's Riddick. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Stafford. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. 14 yards, but they're still well shy of a first as that leads to fourth down. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. This from 54 yards away. And did he have enough? He did. He kept it on line and managed to tuck it into the bottom right corner. And that will get the lead up to 14. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but they still ate up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Now it's Martin to do the honors after the made field goal. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Aaron Rodgers, three fourth-quarter comebacks last year. That's the most he's had in one season in his entire career. And he's going to need another one right now. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Damon Harrison bringing in 341 pounds of power for the sack. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Now a draw play. This is Jones. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. So much of the game today 
We're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Again, it's Jones. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Every time I see a coach challenge a spot, that makes me a little bit nervous for that coach. Those are very difficult to get overturned. Well, the biggest reason, correct me if I'm wrong, is just technology. A lot of times you just don't have the angle. Yeah, I think all the coaches, when they want to challenge that type of a play, they want to put the magnets or the things, or the sensors in the ball to show exactly where it is. But right now, it's all about us humans. The head coach relied on his eagle eye in the sky to make the right call and was told to challenge it, and it looks like it's paid off. And from a coach's standpoint, when you throw that flag, probably a pretty tense moment here, it pays off. Yeah, you have that little bit of indecision. You throw it when you feel like you're right, and then you think, uh-oh, did I get it right? In this case, they can celebrate. Here's Rodgers to throw. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. It's got to the point where we see guys like that make that type of a catch. Not fair goes through my brain. That size, that speed, and now they're acting like wide receivers too. Yeah, yeah tight end one-handed catches. They're kind of like wide receiver one-handed catches nowadays. Just not right. Rodgers throwing complete here to St. Brown. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. 13 yards, first down, Packers. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. To throw, it's Rodgers. Geronimo Allison, the intended target. But it's going to be second down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Rodgers now going to throw again. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. They couldn't contain Deshaun Hand that time as he gets home for the sack. Remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He completes it to Jones. And it's going to be another first down as he'll get him to the ground at the Lions 30. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Da -da -da. 
So first and 10 now from the 30. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Rodgers will bring him up to the line, first and 10. And he's five for six now, throwing the ball on this drive. They'll run it with Jones. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to 10. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Now Rodgers. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Trey Flowers, the former Arkansas Razorback, in there to get him. That partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now Rodgers. And no, it's incomplete. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And the Lions will take over. So now with a two-minute warning coming up fast, that puts a mammoth dent in their comeback hopes. I like how you phrased it. It's a dent because there's still opportunity. They've got to get the ball back on defense, obviously twice. But guess what? This thing is not close to being over. They need to go ahead and play it out. Not over. As you said, two-score games still. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They begin the drive with Johnson. The tackle made by Blake Martinez. You know, I was going to ask you if maybe they should surprise and pass the ball, but where they're at on the field, I think keep it on the ground, right? I like where you're going with this one because field position is going to determine these play calls. And backed up where they are, I don't even think about check, putting the ball check, in the air. I tell my running backs, grasp the football, and I tell my offensive line, don't allow any leaks so they get hit immediately when we hand it off. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. 
Here's Reddick. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Sam Martin now. He's been terrific so far. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Yeah, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. So now Rodgers in the pack. Down by two touchdowns. Just over a minute, 40 to play. Their offense has struggled all night, and now they need to find two scores late to try to pull this thing out. his tight end Graham and he'll be upended at the 28 yard line just a three yard gain there the completion good for three and it's second down and right now defensively you love that don't you I mean you'll give them that play and they'll take it every single time this is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield and too much time's going to run off the clock throwing again on second down Rodgers and that's complete to Adams Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Throwing now is Rodgers. Open here is Allison. That's complete. going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. When we see another great performance like this out of Aaron Rodgers, you have to chuckle thinking that his only FBS offer was a walk-on at Illinois. And now he's the pride of Butte Junior College, of course at Cal. And I remember watching him play at Cal and he would run seven-on-seven -seven drills. Angry. At the and he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle with well, a clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. Coming from where they were, they knew this was going to be tough, but they got the touchdown. Now they need the miracle, the onside kick, and a little extra. Yeah, and you have to get the onside kick and not have the ball bounce around a lot and eat up time. You want to be able to grab it, possess it, and get your offense out there for what you just termed a miracle, miracle. last chance. is Mason Crosby for the point after. It's up and good. A seven-point margin. It's 20 to 13 now. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with a Packers touchdown.
So with 13 on the clock, it's time for an onside kick. And yeah, this will be covered up by the Lions, and that might just about seal the deal. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Stafford down to a knee and with it he's going to ensure his guys a victory so this one's over it's a win for the Detroit Lions and I know I'm not breaking any news when I say that any road win in this league is a good one no doubt but it's a double bonus when you get a victory on the road in your division and when you start a season each team breaks down their schedule in different ways. Some do it every four games, right? Let's go quarterly. Others say, listen, we've got to take care of our home field. And, you know, out of a 16-game season, if you get eight at home, let's at least win seven at home and split our road games. That's what you're trying to get done. So you're exactly right. A road win, precious, especially within the division. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Lambeau, good night, everybody.